So I'm going to render down some beeswax. Just this little bit. And this time I'm going to use some cheesecloth. Um, as a filter for the um, debris that's in the in the wax. Um, <clears throat> I've got some water that's heated up. It's sitting at about 77 Celsius, uh, about 170 Fahrenheit at the moment. I'm just going to use this uh, meat thermometer, which has got uh, the perfect range. Uh, just to make sure that we don't get the wax too hot. So maximum 77 Celsius, 170 Fahrenheit, and it can get down to about 150 Fahrenheit, roughly 66 Celsius, um, before it doesn't melt anymore. So somewhere in that range. So I'll probably leave the darker stuff for a separate melt uh, just that those few pieces there uh, just to not contaminate the the larger piece and uh, we'll do that do it afterwards see how that goes So just putting in the pieces um, so I can wrap them up in the cheesecloth and have the wax soak out and most of the uh, debris will stay captured within the little net and uh, we should have fairly clean wax afterwards. So it's just starting to melt. Okay, I'll just leave that to heat up.
So if the temperature rises um, a little bit above the maximum, uh, just take the container off the heat for a bit, turn your thermostat down, and just let it cool off for a few minutes, uh, just till it's back in the range. So we just jumped slightly over the 170 for a moment there so I've just taken it off turn the thermostat down just from six to five and uh, just let things cool down before I put it back on so the, the wax is heating up it's absorbing less heat and um, just need to let it even out a bit So you can see um, the wax is about half melted. There's still a, a large lump of it in there, but a lot of it has liquefied. And there's a fair bit of debris sticking to the cheesecloth. Um, dead insects, parts of dead bees, general dirt. So it is best to um, seal up the top of the cheesecloth just so that um, debris doesn't float out. Um, I've just left it open so I can show you how things are going but uh, best idea is, is a bit of a peg just on the top to keep that all contained as it melts. Uh, don't be impatient, you don't want to crank the temperature up and overheat the wax, uh, just let it sit within the range and uh, be patient it'll melt so not too much more still that big ball is is there but not far away Okay, so pretty much all the wax is melted. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just bundle up the top of the cheesecloth and let the wax just drain out into the water bath. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour the uh, liquid wax into this container uh, so it can cool.
and the wax will float to the top. Um, any impurities that are in there, which I don't think there's any by the looks, um, will sink to the bottom of the wax and float on the water and I can scrape them off when it's cooled. So here's the cheesecloth, uh, there's a little bit of wax on it, but mostly it is all of the junk that was mixed in with the honeycomb. Yeah, so I'm just going to try and get this out of the container. It's split a bit. It's a slightly larger piece. So you get shrinking cracks. So the bottom of this wax is pretty clean. There's just a few little impurities there which I can scrape off with a spoon. But otherwise it's in pretty good condition shrinking crack down the middle but that's um to be expected